Colby Demerit to lead things off of the Braves here in the third. Travis Singleton scored back in the first inning. 2 2 pitch. A deep drive to center, spreading back there quickly as Garcia misplayed it, kicks off his leg and rolls to the base of the wall. Off to the races is Demerit, heading for third. They may send him to the plate. Here he comes. Here comes the throw. Demerit is in there. A head first slide and an inside the park home run for Travis Demerit. Annalise Garcia went back to his left, spun around, and then tried to come in to play it. He was all twisted up and turned out there in center field. It's the first inside the park home run in the history of this ballpark. How about Jared asking Wash what he wanted for his birthday? How about the opportunity to wave a guy home on an inside the park home run? Harrison Bader lined out to center field. And Bader hits it out to deep left center. It's at the wall. And it's off the wall. It scoots away. Bader racing to second. Bader racing to third. He's going to score inside the park home run. Sliding in head first. Bader and the Cardinals get on the board. It looks like it's going to be out of the ballpark. Hits off the wall. Kicks off the foot of Cedric Mullins. And it was off to the races for Harrison. The only question was, would Bader outrun Molina? Because Molina was back at second base tagging up just in case. So much fun to watch Harrison Bader running around the bases. And that brings up Ryan Reynolds, who had a double his last time up. Three balls, two strikes. Hayes will be on the move. The pitch. Curveball hit to left and deep. Dickerson back to the warning track. And it'll hit off the very top of the go, wall. Go, and go, bound go, away go, from go, him. go, go. Hayes is coming in to score. <laughs> Reynolds is around third. He's coming home. He's trying for an inside the park home run. And he's got it standing up. It didn't clear the deck, but it did the trick. That was so fun. I don't think he could have had an easier inside the park home run than that. <laughs> it was incredible. That's even better than the ball going over the fence. He could have actually turned and ran to first and been safe again a second time. Yeah. He could have got a home run and a single on this one swing. Let's get a little cardio, that's all. Facing Kiermeyer, the center fielder to start. And the first pitch, a liner off the bat of Kiermeyer, and a diving attempt by Sanchez. Gonna go all the way to the wall. He's got a chance to circle him. On his way to third, he's gonna get the green light. And the throw to the plate is not in time. First pitch, bottom of the first, Kiermeyer, and inside the park home run. Could you have set it up any better? Go after the first pitch, aggressive. Jesus Sanchez, he gave himself a shot. Once it got by him, I think everybody was standing. You've got one center fielder taking advantage of another. The Rosa Reina leads off against Devin Smeltzer. The pitch, swinging a high fly ball to right field. This will drive back Kepler, but he's got some room with Gordon, who's up against the wall, and now misplays it, and it goes off the wall for extra bases. On his way to third is a Rosarena, and guess what? He's gonna try and come all the way around, and the throw is wide, and it's an inside the park home run. But in the biggest display of speed, you will see you knew he had it, and the man does not stop. A Rosarena right here, flying around the bases, stays through this ball, gets it up in that night sky. Now Jordan Luplo, the leadoff man who struck out to start things off. And Luplo sends one out to center. Oh, and it gets baby. behind Grisham, and here goes Perdomo as it rolls all the way to the wall. Perdomo will score. Tony Paris Chica going to send him home. The relay is offline, and he comes all the way around. That ball was well struck to center field, and I really thought that Grisham had a chance to catch this ball, but instead it died in front of him. He dove straight in for the ball, and he couldn't stop it. Once it gets behind him, it's off to the races. And Tony Paris Chica did not hesitate. He was windmilling Luplo all the way around immediately. The relay is well off the mark. Here's Seiya Suzuki. He has one of their three hits today. 2-0 pitch. Suzuki gets a hold of one. Back that goes. Off the wall and left center. And a good ricochet for Seiya. Heading for third. They're going to wave him in. Suzuki heads for home. The throw to the plate. Not in time. Seiya Suzuki touches them all. 
Just spectacular. Suzuki fresh off the IL gets into a hater fastball and plays a little pinball with the center field wall. That one took that crazy hop away from Davis and before he could run it down, Suzuki with outstanding speed, he got there and beat the tag from Caratini. Josh Smith is 0 for 2. Here's the 1-1 and that ball is drilled into center field coming on as Laureano. He slides but he missed it and the ball goes by him. Tavares coming around third. He'll score. Laureano still chasing it down. Smith headed to third. Tony Beasley waving him home. Here comes the throw. Smith dives. He scores. And inside the park home run. Well, Laureano to begin the game defensively for Oakland made a sliding catch coming in on a sinking line drive just like that by Josh Smith. So Smith hits a ball in about the same spot. Laureano tried to make exactly the same play, but he missed this time, and that ball rolled all the way to the warning track. His first career major league home run in inside the park home run. Already struck out with the bases loaded his last time up. Into center. And it's beyond underneath the glove of Tavares. Haggerty can't fly. He is on his way. This might happen. He's going to third. He's getting waved home. Sam Haggerty scores on an inside the park home run. That's a middle of the plate fastball. And he's off to the races once he sees it past the center fielder. And not close at home. I'm telling you, Haggerty was a blur around the bases, running out from underneath his batting helmet between second and third. Slides in head first, and the Mariners have their first run of the game. Rymel Tapia up for the third time. Sends a drive to deep center, but where is it? And it's over, way over the head of Duran, who never saw it. He never saw it. Tapia round third, heading home. And inside the park, grand slam for Rymel Tapia. He hit it well off the bat, but he was just standing out there. High Sky watched the center field. His ball's hit well, and he's out there acting like he had it. Now he's done not real sure. See you later. It's back on the warning track. Tapia dejected on contact, went streaking up the first baseline, turned on the Jets, and he clears the bases with it inside the park. Grand slam. It's the first inside the park home run for the Blue Jays since May of 2017. And Trey has talked about taking every moment in this week and not knowing if this will be his final Oriole home game or not. In the air to right. Low will drip back. Low doesn't see it. Low lost the ball. Here comes Hayes. Trey's going to go to third. Trey's going to be waved home. Here comes Mancini. He is safe. 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 A fairy tale has come to life. How can you write this script? Two strikes, just a cutter on the outside part. And you can see Trey knows he missed it, but low out in right field. He can't see it. He said to himself, I can't see it. And I mean, off of his face. Just tips the glove off of his left cheek. It kicks towards the right field line. Trey Mancini never checked up. Tony Mancini, the third base coach, was windmilling him the entire way. Well, I can tell you this. If it's his last home at bat, it will be one he will never, ever forget. And neither will the fans here in Baltimore. Manessis was robbed his last time up. Looked like he had a hit. Breaking ball. Joey Manessis hits it a ton to center. Blade back, back, off the wall. Then it hits him. It goes along the out-of-town scoreboard. Joey Manessis, he's going to be waved home by Gary Stisarcina. See you later inside the park home run. Joey Oxygen, someone get him a tank. As Manessis is huffing and puffing all the way back into the dugout. And these fans love it. That ball hit the fence, deflected off the body of Blade and rolled along the warning track, parallel to the right center field wall. By the time Blade picked it up, Manessis had that play beaten fairly comfortably with a head first. First dive. His ninth of the season gets the Nationals on the scoreboard. It's four to one. We have a curtain call for a guy that just ran the bases. JT struck out in the first. Here's the one one swing and a fly ball center field. Back into his right as Harris towards the angled wall to the track at the wall reaches out. It comes off the wall. It rolls away. JT flying around second. He's heading for third. Dusty Watson is going to wave him home. Here's the relay to the plate. There'll be no throw. JT slides. <laughs> it's an inside the park home run. What a
This ball's hit pretty far, and I don't know where Acuna was, but he got to try to get over there to help out your center fielder. If the center fielder's got to go get that ball, and Acuna's not crashing towards it, with the speed of Riamuto, almost the easiest inside the park home run you're going to see. Acuna doesn't take any movement at all towards that center field. And by then, it's too late. He had a play to help out, potentially, and he didn't move. And then he knows right away he hit it good. So he's not in a full sprint yet. Right about now, he's in a full sprint when he sees that ball go off the wall. It's the third inside the park home run of his career. Three in one career for a catcher. Uh, to play the position he plays and catch as much as he does, to be in shape with his legs, pretty impressive. The 17th inside the park home run in postseason history and the first one ever by a catcher.